hi guys thanks for watching today's video from today i'm going to do some baking videos on my channel and also hopefully some cooking videos as well because i find baking and cooking extremely relaxing and after a long stressful week doing a bit of baking or cooking on the weekend really chills me out so today I'm going to start with a simple bake which is um, a plain white loaf and i'm going to bake it in a bread tin so i got 400 grams of strong white flour here and the ingredients are very simple it's far healthier and far tastier than the loaf you will get from a supermarket so i got eight grams of low sodium salt you can use normal salt if you want to i use low sodium because it uh, is a bit healthier so i put in one side of the bowl and i got similar amount of yeast which is dried yeast i got it from the supermarket eight grams again so i put on the other side of the bowl don't put them together otherwise the yeast will die if you put it with the salt i got 25 grams of unsalted butter is softened up you don't have to have unsalted butter you can use normal butter if you want to if you're using a salted butter what i suggest is reduce the amount of salt you're putting in by a couple of grams and that should be okay it doesn't matter too much to be honest also what i have got here i have some olive oil you don't need to have olive oil if you have don't have olive oil just use butter instead or you can use uh, vegetable oil or some other cooking oil that you have i got 250 ml of tap water here so might not use the whole lot uh, you don't have to use the whole lot so about 250 ml or 250 cc or about half a pint so i'm going to pour some of it in there and start mixing and uh, i'll keep mixing until i get a rough dough be careful about not putting too much water in otherwise the dough becomes very soggy and very difficult to handle and the bread won't hold its shape very well so as you can see my dough is a bit rough now but it's picked up all the flour from the bowl i'm going to tip this on this um, mixing mat or baking mat and just going to pour some tiny bit of olive oil on it so it doesn't get stuck as i said earlier if you don't have olive oil you can just use any cooking oil you know sunflower oil or vegetable oil whatever you normally use for cooking or you can put some butter on it spread bit of butter so it doesn't get stuck and the next thing i'm going to do is just knead it so kneading is very simple you just roll it towards you put it sideways push it with your palm of your hand or ball of your hand and keep doing it and i'm going to do this for five to ten minutes i prefer it a bit longer the reason is because this is the most enjoyable part of baking i find very therapeutic so i usually do it for 10 minutes you don't need to do it for 10 minutes five six minutes will be plenty so i have been kneading it for about eight and a half minutes now do it for another minute or so so roll towards you put it sideways push with the ball of your hand roll towards you 90 degrees push it with the palm of your hand roll towards you sideways palm of your hand push it away roll towards you sideways palm of your hand push it away with the ball of your hand roll side now you can see my dough is becoming very nice and silky looks wonderful you know very smooth and what i'm going to do is transfer this back into the bowl before i do so i have washed the bowl already and uh, i dried it as well so it's nice clean and dry so this is almost 10 minutes now so i'll leave this here for a minute in the bowl i'll again pour a tiny bit of olive oil that should be plenty i think yeah going to spread it around the bowl so so that should be fine 
All my bowl is lined with olive oil. Put my dough in there. And I'm going to prove it in there for two hours. And what I'm going to do is cover it with a plain tea towel, any cloth, you can clean cloth. I'm going to cover it in there and going to leave it there for two hours to let the dough rise and it has to rise at least twice the size it was. So do check the size again. So this is the size and hopefully you should be able to see it rise because I'll put the camera in there for you to see it. Hopefully it look nice and I shall see you back in a couple of hours. So I'm hoping it will rise at least twice the size if not three times the size it is at, the pre at present. My yeast is quite good. It's uh, about three months old but it's been sitting in the fridge. It's a very good quality yeast so I'm hoping it will rise quite nicely. So I've been proving this for just under two hours, one hour and 56 minutes. You can see the size of it. It's quite substantially risen. So I'm going to take this out of here. I've covered my baking mat with a bit of flour on it very lightly. The same flour I used for the dough, which is strong white flour. So I've taken this out, just going to fold it in to get all the air out. takes a few minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is just make it into an oblong. It's a bit longish. Now that's the baking tin I'm using which is a one kilogram or two pound baking tin. I've lined it inside with some olive oil. If you don't have any olive oil just put some butter, spread it around or just any cooking oil or something will do. Once this is sort of oblong, almost the same size as the baking tin, fold it in on both sides from the top as well. It's rolled in, turn it around, make a nice oblong. Same size as the baking tin, you can see almost the same size. Put it into the baking tin, lay it in there and I'm going to put this into a plastic bag. You can use any plastic bag, I use this one and uh, I'm going to leave it in there for one hour. So you can use any shopping bag if you have a large shopping bag for made out of plastic, put the tin in there. If you don't, then this is what I use. It's got a little zip on it. And I close this like so, and I leave it in there for one hour to rise. And I will see you in about one hour. At 45 minutes, I'm going to start heating up my oven. My oven is a fan oven, it's in centigrade. So 200 degrees fan ovens in centigrade. If you're using Fahrenheit, use 425 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've got a gas oven, then use gas mark seven. If you have a non-fan oven, then put the temperature up by 20 degrees. So instead of 200 degrees centigrade, you put it up to 220 degrees centigrade. So I'll switch it on in about 45 minutes. So it will take about 15 minutes to heat up and by that time, hopefully my dough would have risen. So the bread been in the plastic bag for exactly one hour. Let's see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Looks pretty good, pretty well risen. Two, th two to three times the size it was when I put it in. Now I got a little roasting tray here. I'm going to put some hot boiling water in it. My oven in the meantime been heating up and it's preheated now to 200 degrees 
centigrade is a fan oven. In the bottom of the oven, you just keep it nice and moist in there. Now, the loaf, I'm going to sprinkle some flour on it. You can put some semolina if you want. I just put some flour, just spread it gently and put it in the oven for 25 minutes to 30 minutes. I'm going to check it at 25 minutes and see how it is coming along. If it needs another few minutes, then I'll leave it until 30 minutes. So I've just taken the bread out, exactly 30 minutes it took to bake. It looks all right to me and if I tap it, feels pretty hollow. Let's see if we can take it out of the... It comes out quite easily. So olive oil coating did help and as I said before my uh, bread tin is quite well seasoned. I won't wash it now. I'm just going to wipe it and put it back in my baking drawer. So if I put this on the wire rack, very nice and hollow at the top and sounds hollow at the bottom as well. So I'll let it cool down for a few minutes and then I'll cut a slice and I'll show you what it looks like from the inside. A disclaimer, I'm not a professional cook or a professional baker. Okay, let's cut the bread, see what it looks like inside. Nice, very nice and airy, soft, fully cooked all the way through. Let's have a taste of it. Mm. It's lovely, gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.